Okay, so uh, following up uh, on the brushes, we are now talking about the paint. Uh, one of the things over the last couple of years that I have recommended is um, Proceed paint, which used to come in this bottle, and now it's called Golden Pro Finishes. This is a um, company owned by Golden Paints, the same ones that you will find at your local art shop, except these paints are designed for um, interior paint work, uh, mostly full finishers, okay? Um, the a small quantity goes a long way with this paint and uh, it's in liquid form and they can be applied with other binders and mediums um, that you may want to choose just gel mediums or impastos uh, provided again from golden or um, on the list of supplies you'll see guerra paints or creamer paints the creamer pigments from New York um, they also are very highly high professional uh, serious um, art shop for the uh, serious minded artists so if you're a professional I would highly recommend you go with those but Golden Paints really puts out an exceptional paint so I would start off with that the difference about these paints is that the price has gone up quite a bit over the last couple of years I'm not quite sure why um, if, maybe I, I, I don't know but it's gone up substantially so if you don't want to spend the big bucks on this uh, and just get yourself a small tube. If you find these are still too expensive, then I recommend you go into the golden paints or acrylic tubes, uh, and those will be good for the class. Uh, another paint that I've discovered recently is the um, Lucas Krill Studio. It comes in two formats, 250 mil and 125 mil. Good coverage, uh, a lot of pigment in these tubes, and um, they really go very far. And again, all the acrylics I speak about over here, you can blend them with other mediums so you can extend the longevity of the paint and maybe get it even thinner or with a bit of viscosity that's thicker. Um, and some of that is explained on the um, materials list that has been given to you. The other paint that I do like to use is a Derivan Matisse structure paint. And um, they have one that is called the Flow. The Flow tends to be um, less thick, a little more um, liquidy. What's nice about this is it's very, very thick. It's probably one of the thickest paints that I found in acrylic. And what's nice also that I enjoy is um, it tends to have very high pigment inside for a heck of a good price. Uh, I think uh, something like uh, this purple over here, Series 3, uh, runs like about 9 or $10 for about 150 mLs. That's quite a bit. I mean, a lot of paint for not very much cost. If you're in Naples, Florida, Koenig Art Emporium is the uh, local art store. You know I like to shop, shop local as much as possible and support local business. They do carry uh, an amazing paint called from Holbein. And if you take a look, they have quite an extensive uh, array of colors. They do carry every single one of these colors. Uh, be prepared to pay the price. This is a professional uh, uh, quality paint, uh, which you can also buy. Uh, they have like sort of their own little packets like this. These are their mediums that you can blend it with. Although I haven't really used those, I'm not familiar with it. I am more familiar with the stuff from GuerraPaints.com or CreamerPigments.com supplied on the list. But these are great paints also, but the tubes can run you anywhere between $15 to $25 to so even $35 professional quality paint i wouldn't say no to this it's worth buying a few tubes just to try out and see what that feels like so you're not stuck working with uh, cheap old materials and struggling with the canvas when you go professional things are a lot easier okay um holbein same company as uh, the last one i showed you they make this great paint which is a matte finish brilliant color very small list of colors however very powerful amazing coverage power and um, you know the tubes uh, it's 110 mls this is 120 it's probably two size i've used these in the past there's actually a youtube video where you see me doing a demonstration of a portrait from a few years back these are the paints that i use for it and the coverage and instant 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 whatever they're quick so uh what i like also about it is this one over here this little gold at the end it's super brilliant very glossy amazing coverage power i haven't found a gold paint like that with that kind of pigment in a long time and i've ordered quite a few for myself so i don't mind telling you this because i know i have mine all right um another thing is if you want to go with liquitex they have two brands professional and basics 
this pretty much says it all. It's basic, but if you want to spend the uh, money, um, anywhere between two to four dollars a tube. But be warned, it will take a lot of pigment to do what you want to do with this. So sometimes it's really not that worth it unless you're really stuck and you need a color. This will bail you out. Uh, regarding the canvases, uh, sometimes I like to start off working on a base and um, no place better to go than to Home Depot. Choose yourself a color, put it in a small container like this. I like to work with flat or eggshell and that becomes the base of my painting upon which I begin to paint. Why uh, do I work that way? Because I have color selection. Um, don't waste a lot of paint. Uh, like I always say, if this can stay on the side of a house for 15 years and not fade, it's good enough for the base of my canvas. I don't really paint with these, although Jackson Pollock did in the 50s and a lot of other artists have experimented with it. This paint has become rather sophisticated in quality. Would I do a full painting with it? Yes. However, I'm sure there will be certain snags regarding the pigment and the, uh, the intensity of, uh, of the color. Okay, They do dry flat, um, so that is an added plus, you know. These tend to have a little more luminosity and transparency, whereas house paint, because of the uh, the binder, will tend to dry flat. So this is my recommendation for the colors. Um, Koenig Art Emporium, again, is located on Central and Tent on uh, Naples. Uh, he does have the array of paints. There's also a lesser student quality. And as far as which colors to bring, um, you know, do not bring black. We don't use black in class. Uh, dark colors are great, dark green, dark red, dark blue, and medium range, and uh, plenty of uh, titanium white, or basically whatever color inspires you, okay? So um, picture it in your head, and you, you know, you get really like excited about a certain color, bring it in, because um, that will bring you into areas of creativity. Uh, this is not a color class, but we do apply a lot of paint over and over and over again. and. Um, skin tones are not always painted as skin tones sometimes i'll ask you to just paint a blue face or a green face and so on so you kind of have to not think of a typical color spectrum when you take this class or any of the three classes okay so i hope that covers the colors for you and there's more information on the um, materials list that's been provided to you uh, in regards to some of those medium binders that you may want to use. Um, if you have more experience in acrylic paint, you'll know what I'm talking about. You might want to go further with that. Otherwise, if you don't, just stick to what I just said and you will be good to go. All right. See you later.